Well, I got my big box of sunlight books in the mail today and I'm so excited. I wasn't even planning on filming today. We just got home from church, but I saw it on our porch and I was so excited. So I decided to do kind of like an impromptu unboxing with you all. And so I hope you like it. So I haven't looked at any of this stuff yet. I am so jazzed. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like I was saying in a previous video, which I'll link above, I was talking more about why I made the switch to sunlight. So please go see that because this definitely is a bit of a switch for our homeschool, but it's one that I am so excited about and my kids are excited. So let's go through what I got. So I basically ordered two major things. So I ordered the HBL or History Bible Literature K. So kindergarten. My kids are five and seven, well, almost six and seven and a half. And this level is rated for more like five to six year olds. And so they're definitely on the higher end of that. But the reason I decided to go back to the level K or the HBLK is because it's American history and we haven't studied that at all. We've gone through around the world kind of cultures and continents with Build Your Library level zero. And, and then we started ancient history a bit. So we started world history, but there really wasn't a good place for us to land. So I kind of, went back a little bit, but I think it'll be great. I think it'll be a good fit. Anyway, so I have HBL level K, and, and then I also have a science from Sunlight, and I went back and forth between Bookshark and Sunlight for this, because if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I struggle a little bit with science from homeschool Christian companies, but as I was explaining in that video, Sunlight is really solid. So please go watch that. I chat more about that in that video. I decided to go with their Science A. It's a new kit this year. It actually hasn't even come out. So I'll get the instructor's guide and science lab kit all in July, but I think I got some of the books today. So I just wanted to tell you, those are two of the things we're looking at in this box. So I will stop chatting and I will pull out what we have. Okay, so we have this, The World According to Humphrey. I don't know where that goes. I have Little House in the Big Woods. We actually already have this. We've read this. So I'll probably just sub in Little House on the Prairie for that. Okay. It also comes with um, the Boxcar Children. This must be the first one. Yeah. We've read half of this. So I would actually like to get back to that. There's Dolphin Treasure and then Dolphin Adventure. So those look really cute. We also got a grain of rice. This says the smallest rewards can grow into the largest treasures. This looks just cute. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got, here is the seen the wor word. So these I believe are the Bible memory verses to help the kids out, which I love that. Um, this says just dance. And then I got two sets of readers. I picked up both the kindergarten reader set as well as the first grade reader set, just because I'm sharing with the two kids and I thought that was a good fit for them. And so I believe these I can read it books one, two, three, and four. I'll go with grade one readers. And this is says the best trick. Oh, My Father's Dragon. We love this book. We actually have all three, but we'll probably read it again because we love it. And here's the Bible, the one year Bible for children. I actually have this and I'm currently using it because I often get inspiration from sunlight. And so this is really working well for us currently. So now we have two copies or maybe I'll just gift it to somebody. Um, and this one is if you could live in colonial times. So this just looks great as a good, it's kind of in between chapter book, picture book for early American kind of studies. Let's see. Oh, this is a sunlight journal. I think this was part of the gifts if you order in April, which we did. So that was a free gift from Sunlight. Thank you, Sunlight. We also got Roxy and the Hooligans, which I already picked up. Like I said, I get a lot of my inspiration from Sunlight, so I'll probably give that to a friend. Then there's the Silver Balloon. There's Lulu and the Dog from the Sea. We have a different Lulu book and we really liked it, so I'm glad we have another one. And this is Adventures of the South Pole Pig. This is Byrat Mackerel's Brilliant Plot. That looks just cute. Oh, I really wanted to read this. I forgot this was in here. So this is the Hartwood Hotel, a true home. It has to do with like this mouse that gets lost and gets taken in by a bunch of other woodland animals. I think it looks really cute. And I think there are more in 
that series. I'm not sure. Oh, so yeah, so it does come with some of the science. So this is Pasteur's Fight Against Microbes. I'm so excited about this. The microbiologist in me can't wait to share this kind of stuff with my kids. And then I think a lot of these are for the first grade readers. So you have a big ball of string, green eggs and ham, cat in the hat. We have both of those. A fly went by, put me in the zoo, and one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, which we don't have those last ones. So it's always fun to get more Dr. Seuss. I like Dr. Seuss. And then here's the other ones. These are the level K reader set. So they're the fun tales. And I've heard a lot of people rave about these and I'm like, oh, I don't know what's so great about them, but I'm excited to get my daughter kind of going on these. And then we love these. You wouldn't want to be, we have like, you wouldn't want to be a Sumerian slave. You wouldn't want to not have writing, something like that. So we get these often. I own a couple, but we often get them from the library. So now we'll add, you wouldn't want to be a Civil War soldier and you wouldn't want to be an American pioneer. So both good, good books. Oh, I love this, there's so many books. Okay, the next one we have is Why Do People Eat? So that's for science A. This is Feelings, so that's part of the HBLK. And this is Light is All Around Us, so again, science. And here is The Magic School Bus, Lost in Space, so science. Oh, here's one we actually have, The Magic School Bus Inside the Human Body. Or maybe I got this from the library, I can't remember. But anyway, we've read it, it's good. Oh, and then here are the guides for level one readers and level K readers. So I'm curious to kind of get into those and see how they instruct you to look into those books and things like that. And then this one is The Llama Who Had No Pajamas. The Llama Who Had No Pajamas. This I've heard great things about. I think it is, yep. It is more of um, poetry and fun things like that. So that's great. Okay, and then the next thing I pulled out is the instructor's guide for exploring American history. So this is all my lesson plans, which is again, like I was saying in that other video, this, having it scheduled for me, was the biggest draw. So I'm really excited about this. And then these books. So these are the heroes and happenings. So I listened to a podcast or maybe it was a YouTube video by Sunlight on these books in particular, which what it sounds like is that they were written by Sunlight to really highlight different people. So different important people in American history as well as different important events. And it of course hits the important ones, the obvious ones, but then the creators were also striving to have a lot of diversity and other interesting events that maybe a lot of people haven't heard of highlighted in these books. And so I'm really excited to dive in on these. So these would be called really your spines for American history at the kindergarten level. And I think it looks great. Like there's just enough reading where it's not too bogged down, but there's beautiful pictures. And so this was another thing that really sold me on going with the HBLK because I just felt like this would just be a really good grounding for my kids since we just have not hit upon any American history yet. And so we'll go back to ancients and world history somehow, either through sunlight if I really love it or back to kind of build your library. But I really wanted to take this time to do American history. So anyway, we're getting to the bottom. But we also have three young pilgrims. George versus George. This just looks so fun. And then this is a what makes you ill. So it's talking about germs, which is just great. And then this is how we cross the West. The Adventures of Lewis and Clark. This is so cool because I grew up in Montana. So I grew up right by where Lewis and Clark went over the continental divide. So there's a lot of history there. I learned a ton about it growing up. So I'm excited to share that. And then this one is Hooray for Inventors. And so this is part of the Sunlight Science, and I actually like this book so much. That's why I picked the five-day science over the four days so that I can have extra science books, which makes sense for me. And I only ended up doing the four-day HBLK because we have our enrichment school day for the kids. So we only do school four days a week here, so I picked four. And then this is a Us Born Lift the Flap engineering book, which we don't have this book. We have a ton of Us Born books but we don't have this one. So I was super jazzed to kind of see what was in here and what they're gonna learn because their dad is an engineer. That'll just be great. So those ones, oh, I'm getting to the bottom here. 
Okay. And then this one is The Very First Americans. And this is a Richard Scary Please and Thank You book. And then this is the timeline and timeline figures. And I'm actually thinking of putting in another order to sunlight to get the kids their own because I just think it would be kind of cool for them to be able to construct their own. And I believe this is, yeah, this is put on sticker paper so they can color it and add it to their timeline and add little notes and things. So I just thought it'd be kind of fun to have them start out with their own instead of start out sharing. So I might order more of those so my daughter can have one too. And that is the map. And so we do have maps on the wall. And so that's great. I, I have plenty of maps, but the reason I decided to actually go with this one, so it's United States on one side and then the world map on the other side. Why I decided to pick this up, because I almost didn't, but I wanted it because I thought it would be really nice to put kind of in our book basket because the plan is to read a lot of stuff out here and our maps and stuff are all the way over there in the schoolroom. And so it comes with markers. So yes, that is my plan. Um, I will kind of dive more into all of our curriculum for all the different topics here shortly in a couple weeks, but I want to do a quick unboxing because I was just so excited, so excited to see that box on our porch when we got home from church. And so I hope you all are doing well. I would love to hear your comments below. Have you used sunlight? Have you been curious about it? Have you been like me where it's always been this one curriculum that you've always wanted to try? <laughs> and if it's not sunlight, what is that for you? Do you have a curriculum you've always wanted to try but you haven't yet? So anyway, love to hear from you guys down below. And if you like this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Otherwise, I will see you in the next homeschool video. Okay, have a good day. Bye.